In this video, we're going to talk about DAO for Art, which is a DAO that allows you to create your own DAOs to then sell art in the NFT space in the future. Nothing I say is financial advice, always do your own research. Let's dive into it, guys. So here we are over on a DAO for Art. This is basically an example website of something you would be able to create by using DAO for Art. And you can see that this basically has a similar look to OpenSea, although I will talk about in a bit why it's not the same as OpenSea, which is the traditional or the original marketplace for NFT sales. Now, if you come down below, you can see how it would all look if you created it yourself. It's basically kind of like if you want to go and create an e-commerce platform, you use Shopify. If you want to go and create a blog, you use WordPress. This is a similar concept, guys, but it's basically for being able to create your own marketplace to sell NFTs. Now, if you were around last year in the NFT space or crypto space, then you would have understood that Ethereum itself, where many of these projects are built upon, became very slow, very expensive. And although Although it has undergone a few upgrades, still serves a few problems in this area. But the DAO for Art platform focuses on combining the ERC-20 and the ERC-721 in order to create a more affordable, highly efficient system. And this creates something that they're calling an incentive compatible model. Now coming down through, you can see the examples of like different collections that you might have. And then the FAQ down here talking about what is a DAO, various other things. And if you are not already sure about what a DAO is, well, it's a decentralized or autonomous organization. So it's basically something that runs by itself without the need for a management team. And it's a revolutionary type of organizational structure. So you can go and create your own DAO to be able to sell perhaps your artwork or sell other people's artwork and also potentially thinking outside of the traditional forms of artwork that exist. Yes, you could think about doing things like comic books, or whatever it is specifically, but you could also maybe create something around, which I think is the future of where the NFT technology lies and that is in things like housing ownership and various other things like that. I think that's where NFTs really should be going if they want to be sustainable into the future. But for now, creating marketplaces where you could go and buy profile pictures and things like that could be a very powerful idea to be able to go and try it out. Now, if we look for what is a DAO for art DAO, uh, we can see a few different things, but I want to focus on uh, this part down here. A DAO for art sub DAO is a DAO that's created by the DAO creators for different storylines and backgrounds. So for example, perhaps you were creating a comic book or creating your own specific type of art. You could then create the storyline and everything around this and create a DAO that specifically sells that type of artwork to people. And this would create a unique structure around the DAO that you're creating rather than the ones that are already in existence. You can also do things like creating canvases and a canvas is a personal presentation page for a specific artist or content creator. So you could have various different artists within a particular type of genre, like anime, like still life, whatever it is that you want to sell. And then you could have people visiting your DAO with all different canvases set up for different types of artists. Now we click on the explore page that brings you over to this and you can see how the NFTs might look on a DAO that you created. Obviously they have their own details here, their own prices, things like this. These are just obviously just example models and you can have them in different forms. So unlimited ones, profile pictures, you see the kind of flexibility and things that are going on here. You've also got things like ranking, DAOs ranking, canvases, as well as NFTs ranking, different collections, etc. And all you need to do effectively is click on create. That will then connect to your MetaMask and then you can go about creating your DAO for art. Now if you come over to the white paper, then you can see more information here. We've got all the FAQs. And when we focus into this particular aspect, of what the DAO for art is all about, it's enabling a collaborative workflows that are basically incentivizing all different players. So that means that everyone across the platform is getting benefit from interacting with the platform, not just the people who are selling art, but the people who are buying art and various other things as well. This enables tons of different types of art to grow and is basically focusing on the development of the digital art world that saw such an explosive growth last year. The platform itself can be seen as a launch pad for future art DAOs, adding flexibility and creativity by allowing other people to come in and have their own spin on what they really want from an NFT marketplace. Now, if we look into the tokenomic structure, we've got DAO tokens, DAO collections and DRB. The DAO token itself, every DAO that is created, a D4A or DAO for art will automatically generate an ERC-20 
20 token designed for that DAO only. So that token can only be used specifically on that DAO rather than on other ones. Naming formats for this token will be D for A, T and then different numbers. And this token will be rewarded on each DAO recycling a block roughly one day. And this will be paid to the DAO creator at a fixed rate. And then the canvas creator will also receive rewards based on performance. The canvas creator obviously is the artist. The DAO creator obviously could be you, or whoever it is who goes and creates the DAO itself. When we look down into the DAO collection itself, NFTs will be created or minted, which basically is when a JPEG basically gets turned into an NFT where it's registered onto the blockchain. And this is done through a set mint window by minters. So for example, you might say minting can only take place over the next three or four days. And this can add scarcity and drive a bit of fear of missing out or FOMO to people potentially looking to invest. Every mint raises the price for the next mint and zero mints for the DRB means price cuts in the next DRB. So effectively it works like any market. If no one wants to buy it, the price will drop. And if people are buying it regularly, the price will go up, which is an automated system and very clever indeed. So the whole idea behind the project is to decouple the artist from the rest of the NFT team. This means that the individual artists can now get their own collections up and running and to be able to make profits without selling out to entire NFT teams. So the individual canvas creator or artist, if you like, will receive 70% of the mint sale in ethers, 30% of the mint sale in equivalent, which will then later be entitled to secondary market trading royalties creator fee. So basically that means every time that item is sold on, the creator will then get another little kick back in terms of profit. So effectively forevermore, as that item continues to be sold, we'll still be receiving profits. As well as that, every step of the way, every sale that goes on in the future, DAO for Art will take a little cut of that. And that goes into boosting up the D4A token. And this ultimately will ensure that over time, the D4A token remains a valuable asset. And all of this information can be found in the documents down below, where you can come across and you can read all of the details here about the DAO token, the tokenomics, how it all works in greater detail if it's something that you are interested in as an NFT artist or just a potential investor. So in summary, a DAO for art is a DAO that enables you to launch other DAOs. Each of these DAOs can then be used to create their own kind of marketplaces for selling different types of art. At every stage of this process, the original DAO for art will be taking a cut of various different profits throughout the whole thing. And that's basically the economic model of how it all works. Works. As crypto starts to move again, as we're seeing right now, the NFT market will not be far behind that. And we will see the NFT market starting to grow as well, which is very interesting because projects like this that add flexibility and different ways of doing things could well influence the way that we see NFTs developing over this year and into the next. If you enjoyed today's video, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you're new to the channel, you want to learn more about NFTs, crypto, Web3, and so much more, then make sure you hit subscribe and I will see you in the very next video. Bye-bye.